So we're going green this time. That's the plan. Okay. Pace car to pit road. 25 cars on the lead lap from Dale Earnhardt Jr. all the way back to Denny Hamlin. There are some cars that could have pulled up, but I'm glad they didn't. Seven of the ten drivers in the chase for the next Tell Cup restart in the top ten spots. Report from Pit Road is that Tony Stewart will try to help Denny Hamlin get to the front. Teammates, of course, for Joe Gibbs Racing. And as Alan Bestwick talked about, <laughs> Dale Earnhardt Jr. has the 20, the 48, and the 25. Rick Hendrick owned cars, teammates directly behind him. Yeah, I'm sure that eight car will start getting real wide here in the last nine laps. He'll be looking in that mirror. What was the what first oh, he to have a tire going, going with down. Burton? Championship what? leader. Be ready, guys. Be ready. Copy. The way that car wiggles, he may have a tire flat. Marty, he came on the radio and said something's wrong. And he said, I think I've got a flat. Fortunately, it happened pretty much on the back stretch going into turn three. A very opportune time to have a flat tire for Jeff Burton. He diagnosed it. He said it's a left rear flat tire. They bring in the pit road. They will change left side tires only for the championship leaders as Dell Jr. and everybody else races around the track. He will try to get these tires changed as quickly as possible and back out on the racetrack. Oh, yeah, yeah, Top yeah, yeah. break for the championship back up, leader, back Bill. Up, back up, back up, back up. They're going to go down a lap for sure, Marty. Evidently, the right rear. They're changing right sides as well. Four tires under green for Jeff Burton. He came to pit road with an 87-point lead in the chase for the next Telcom. Oh, that's going to change in a lap. He said here in the media center on Friday, Everybody's gonna have a bad race. It could be here for me. Look at that, from 87 to 16. Mm. And one lap with 10 to go. Well, that just made the race a lot closer. Top seven within 83 points. Top eight within one race. 156 points. Now, the 48 and the 25 are probably trying to figure out, BP, when they're going to pull out. It's not if. It's when. It's when. And they're hoping that the 9 goes with them, because I think the only way to beat the 8 cars is if everybody leaves them out to dry. Leaves them hung out there. Allen. Well, not only when you pull out to pass, but where you pull out to pass. Brian Vickers, third place car in that 25 under the caution. An extensive kind of monologue on his team radio talking about the fact that the inside lane just doesn't seem to be there. That's why you see Dale Jr. protecting the outside lane. That's why you don't really see anybody marching forward down the bottom. Ah, here they go in the back now. About, about 10th or 12th spot. They've all died from the bottom. Kids are trying to go on the inside. Hoping for help from Harvick. Then they get back in line. This is where it starts getting dicey. Seven laps to go. Everybody wants to get everything they can get. Carl Edwards by himself on the bottom of the racetrack. But he has, he has Gilliland back there in the 38 if he can help him. And he has Mark Martin in front of him who could pull out. I'll tell you, Junior's car really goes through the corners. I mean, I know it's fast in the straightaway, but his car really, really rolls through the corners. That Daytona, when the eight car was having so much success, I felt like that was his reasonable success that he got through the corners so well. Jimmy Johnson in that 48 car won here in May, May 1st. Look, you could actually see him pulling away from the pack in the corner. Is there any chance they'd all pull out and try and hang out Earnhardt? Well, that's what I'm saying. The only way I think they're going to beat him is if they do that. They all have to... And, and they should do it sooner than later. Right. <laughs> I mean, they shouldn't wait for the last lap because, like I said, Junior's going to make that car awfully wide. Five to go at the line this time. And so he should. <laughs> <laughs> Through the trial. Remember, the start-finish line here is down past the end of pit road. Johnson thinking about it. It could be that the 48 and 25 
can turn the radios to talk to each other. Oh, I'm sure they can. Yeah, we, it, and they can do that. Jimmy can say to the 25, "Okay, let's go," and they can peel off. But they, but they really need to be talking to the nine and the two right. also to see where all those guys are going to go. Because if the 48 and the 25 pull down, and Casey Kane goes to the eight, they're done. A.B. Just a couple things to think about. First of all, Jimmy Johnson trying to race to get back into a championship in second. He certainly doesn't want to get involved in a wreck with a risky move. Brian Vickers is leaving the Hendrick Motorsports team at the end of the year. He wants his first win. How loyal will he be to Jimmy Johnson's back bumper? We'll see. Matt? We got two Dodge teams, Everham and Penske, both looking for their first restricted play win. Both are waiting into the past, the last possible second before they make their move, diving down to the middle groove. Everyone just trying to be patient before the chaos starts. And everybody tries to make that last move. Mark Martin is trying to get the 43 to go with him on the last lap. I think the last lap is too long to wait. You've got to do it within two or three laps to go because you're not going to have enough time to pull it off with one lap to go, I don't think. Everyone is just terrified to pull out and go to the end of this line. They're afraid if they go, nobody will go with them. Exactly. If they make a move, everyone's going to run up behind the eight car. Just three. Leave them hung out. Three to go. 48 cars trying to lay back, Jim. That's so we can get a run. Yeah, what he means by that, he's just he's bringing the field behind him back a little bit. So then when he gets back on the gas, he'll get a draft off the eight car, get a run, and be able to pass him. But like I said, the eight car is watching out of that mirror as much as he's watching out of that windshield right now. See, he's got the run, just not enough of a run to where he can slingshot by him. Going to have to lay back a little bit more. Running out of time. They're coming down to the start-finish line. Two to go this time. This is when it's got to happen. Two to go. And they're going to get antsy in the back once they start running side-by-side side behind them. Coming to the white flag this time. All lined up, 10 in the line, then two wide. Earnhardt Jr., a five-time winner here at Talladega. I can't believe nobody's pulled out. I can't believe Casey Kane hasn't pulled out. Because Casey, I mean, he needs to be going for the win. Yes. It's not a point steal for him or Kurt Busch. Fans cheering at Talladega. Earnhardt Jr. leads last lap. Outside, outside. Vickers wants to go. Eight getting a little wider. There he goes. Junior. Oh, no! had already taken the white flag. So is it going to be the 25 or the 9? There are 19 scoring loops around the track. NASCAR will use scoring loops and videotape to determine the race winner. The checkered flag is out. Checkers and yellow out at Talladega. Oh, man, oh, man. Not going to be a popular win for the 25. <laughs> it is. Ray Evernham. Owner of the nine car.